uh, news broke last week that the controversial Arrive Can mobile app <laughs> would become permanent. The federal government is uh, doing right now a pilot test mm -hmm. with the World Economic Forum on that app. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a way to have more information on you. So my advice to Canadians, if you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, you have a constitutional right to come back to your country. You don't have to do everything that the government is asking you and telecharging that app on your phone and things like that. And I can tell you, Daniel, I won't comply with that. Uh, a few months ago, a, a website came up, uh, ktdi.org, uh, uh -huh. known traveler digital identity. <laughs> um, and, and it is this, this uh, pilot program to make a digital identification service in partnership with, as you see on the screen, the okay. Canadian government, the World Economic Forum, uh, and the government of Air the Canada, Air Canada, and also the uh, uh, Toronto Airport, or the yeah. Trudeau uh, Montreal yeah. Airport. This is quite openly happening, uh, and is coming straight from the, the World Economic Forum. When you are putting all of this information on you in that app, I don't know which person at the government may use it, uh, like they did for the uh, convoy, and they decided to frozen uh, bank accounts of. Yeah supporters of the Freedom Convoy just because of their ideology. It reminds me of a sort of precursor to the Chinese social credit system. It starts out with uh, people, uh, you know, tracking basic information. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, your, your credit score is being impacted because you're advocating dissident policies to the government. Yeah.